Right, hi guys. Right, I'm just gonna do my sandwiches. I didn't make my sandwiches earlier uh, because I hadn't got a loaf of bread out. My bread was in the freezer, it was frozen. Let me turn the radio off. There you go, that's better. Uh, the bread's thawed out now. I'll just check to make sure it's thawed out. It's a lot colder tonight. I had to put a uh, cardi on tonight. I've got, I don't know if you can see, my, cut, my arms are covered in gooses. <laughs> I have shut the back door tonight as well because it was really fresh. There you go, it has been raining here. I don't know what it's like where you guys are. It's a bit wet here. Right, let's do it like that. You watch me make my sandwiches and we can have a chat. Right, I've got a couple of call outs, but I'm um, shout out, sorry, but I'll put those there for the moment. I, what I do is I've got a peg, and I'll peg them on my selfie stick so I can uh, read them later. I won't read them quite yet because I want to do my sandwiches first. I'm gonna pull my sleeves down, guys, because it's, it's, it's a bit fresh. <laughs> Right, let's get this show on the road. I've just got to grab a knife. Bear with me, I'm still here. I haven't gone. There you go. <laughs> I'm back. Right, um, today was Tuesday. So you know what tomorrow is, don't you guys? Even my boys know what tomorrow is. That's why they're coming in here. The bread's still a little bit frozen in the middle, but it's not too bad. It should be passable. I should be able to make sandwiches out of this. There we go. I know what you want, guys. They know it's cheese day tomorrow. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Right, let's put this away and get my goodies out. Um, right, we need cheese, buttery, buttery. There we go. Right, things to tell you, apart from it being cold, <laughs> and my boys are stand, stood here waiting for me. Um, I've got to pull it up again because I can't butter this. Um, right. Um, 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 I've been on the internet. I've been looking up things on the internet. That's why I'm a little bit on the drag tonight. I did have a shower earlier, but I've been doing a bit of research on the internet. Um, I got my depot certificate back from Swansea, so it looks like my uh, drive, my uh, logbook for my car should be coming back soon. Uh, but that means I've got my depot certificate to be able to go down to the bank on Saturday. So that's what I'm going to do Saturday. I'm going to shoot down the bank and see if I can get my account details changed to April. Um, then once that's done, I'm going to then sort out work. I'm going to have to change everything at work, go and see the accounts department and get them to change the details on my um, bank account on the payroll. Um, so yes, yeehaw, <laughs> things, I was waiting, everything, everything's been hanging on for this certificate to come back. I should have got, maybe I should have got two certificates made up so I could have had two going at the same time. Anyway, I've got my certificate back now. Uh, so I've got to take that with me down to the bank and my new passport. I'll do that Saturday morning and try and get my bank account details sorted out or underway. And then I'll announce to work and the accounts department, what's happening, so then then got to change my details at work, which then means I can change my profile picture on my company site and my details. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I've been waiting so long for this, guys. Right, cheese time. Just put that over there. And that there. I know, it's all exciting stuff, isn't it, guys? Yeah, I'm getting excited anyway. Right, tomorrow's my last day at work before I have my um, trip to Norwich on Thursday. So, yes. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. I really am looking forward to it. See what they can do for me. I'm so excited. Uh, I had some lovely messages. <laughs> um, I knew there'd be a little, a little bit of controversy about this, the length of my jumpers, my tops. Uh, there always is. Some people say they like my uh, tummy exposed, other people don't. Well, it's up to individual taste, isn't it, guys? And uh, yeah, I'm happy with what I've got. I don't mind flaunting what I've got. <laughs> if I felt uncomfortable, I wouldn't be wearing them. Um, so yeah, that's good. Right, stay there, guys. Stay there. Stay. Right, there you go. Right, that's the first bit on the floor for my boys. And here comes the second one. So that was quite good. That was quite interesting reading. And um, everybody's entitled to their opinion. It won't change me doing what I want to do, guys, but you are all welcome to, to voice your opinions. 
Um, I will only knock people off if they are rude, okay? They're, they're quite welcome to voice their opinions, but if they are rude, uh, then they will come off my side. So, um, okay, hang on guys, let me just get hold of this. Are you ready? Right, that's my boys, they've had their cheese. Now they might leave me in peace, I doubt it, but they should do. Yeah, oh look at that guys, a mountain of cheese. There was a message I had from one of my subscribers today, it was a bit of an unusual one, and they said, what are your three favorite bars of chocolate? Well, <laughs> we all know what number one will be, don't we guys? Because you know I love my Mars bars. The other one I like, and I don't have these very often, are um, um, Cadbury's milk chocolate, just the bars, just straight milk chocolate so that you can break up into the chunks. I love that. Uh, also, the same sort of thing as that is those, those bars of Yorkie. Do you remember those Yorkie bars? Really thick chocolate. The only problem I found with those was they were so tough you could, couldn't bite into the flipping things. Um, so my third choice, so I, I went for Mars bars, um, Cadbury milk chocolate, and the last one, and I don't know if you lot can remember this, and it was a bar of chocolate called Old Jamaica. I loved it. It was a dark chocolate with raisins in it, but it had rum in it as well. It was like a liqueur. <laughs> it was gorgeous. And I looked it up when this um, message came through. I looked it up just to see... Um, if it was still available, and you can still actually get them. And I didn't realise that. I thought they'd gone, done and dusted, but you can still get them. So I might actually treat myself to one of these bars. It looks like you've got to order it. Uh, I, I certainly haven't gone into sweet shops looking for it. I, somebody might have it in, locally, I don't know. Um, but yes, you can order them. And I thought, oh wow. <laughs> I was almost addicted to those when I was a youngster. They were so nice, really moorish. Uh, one of those you couldn't put the bar of chocolate down once you started, you had to finish a lot off. And it could be a bit sickly, a big bar of chocolate all to yourself, but yes. Old Jamaica, let me know if you've heard of it or if you liked it. <laughs> but they were lovely, really nice. So that was an unusual message. Right, here we go guys, my cheese sandwiches are done. And that's for tomorrow. There you go. Which is, what is cheese day tomorrow? There you go, guys. There's nothing else. That you've had all you have. Um, right, let me do those shout-outs. I've got two shout-outs to do. Uh, the first one is for... Oh, one's actually for Saturday, but I'm going to do it now just in case I forget, and I'll probably do it again Saturday, OK? And this is for Janice, who will be 57 on Saturday. So if I forget to do it on Saturday, I've done it now. <laughs> uh, but I'll try and remember to do that on Saturday. And the other one is for Suzanne from uh, Ash Ashbourne in Derbyshire. So there you go. There's the two for tonight. Uh, if any more come through, I'll let you know. I have gone through and checked my messages just now, and I couldn't see any more on there. So fingers crossed I've got, got that one done. Right, let me move this up. I've got to go and get my clean film, which is up this end. Here we go. Right, got me cling film. And back we go, guys. Ooh, there we go. I think that's it. There you go. Right, so that's got to go in the wash, guys. And let's get these wrapped up. Right, don't touch, guys. Stay there. Beautiful. Right, that's the sandwiches done. Right, you good, guys? That goes there. That goes there. Pull those sleeves up here then. That goes there. Right, I have boiled the kettle so I can do my washing up, so I might as well do that while I'm in here, guys. Right, guys? Right, that's my hot water. There you go. Right, twist you back again. I've got a couple of cakes to do. Which will be in here. There you go. There's a new box. I finished the old box off last night, so it's a new box. And two. My mum gifted me a um, shower hat. 
Uh, I saw my mum on Sunday when I took my mum and dad over to see my auntie. And then I was talking to my mum and she said, oh, how are you getting on with your hair? And I said, oh, okay. She said, what do you do when you have a shower? Do you wash your hair at the same time? I said, well, I only wash it every third night. And she said, well, how do you keep it dry? How do you stop it from getting wet? Have you got a shower cap? I said, no. I, I said, I roll, roll my hair up in a, a wig cap. And I said, that, that's not too bad. I said, that keeps it reasonably dry. And she said, oh, I've got, I've got a shower cap. You can have it if you like. And I said, have you really? She said, yes. She said, I don't use it anymore. She said, you're welcome to it. So she gave me a shower cap. <laughs> uh, it's lovely. It's a very, very girly purple, but it looks awful. When you've got it on, it looks awful. But it does the job. It keeps your head nice and dry. So I've got a shower cap. A real girly one. <laughs> Right, there you go. Right, let's put this back, please, guys. And that goes up there. That one goes in there. Right, we're done. I might even have another cup of tea before I go to bed, because it's still quite early. It's 20 past nine now. Right, let's take the selfie stick over here, guys. Here we go. I'll put it over here in the corner by the sink, and I can talk to you over here, can't I? There you go, is that better? Yeah. Right, that'll do. Right, I need my marigolds. Right, are you guys going to go and sit down now? Go on, off you go, go and sit down, go on, soot. Go on, go, go and sit down. Go on, off you go. Boys are hovering because I think there's going to be more food. I'll probably muck their clock up a little bit because I don't usually do the washing up until later. So I'll probably um, round them up a little bit. They have been out up the garden. Uh, it was pouring down the rain earlier. They did come in and they were soaking wet, but the window looks reasonably dry now, so it must have stopped. Uh, right. Um, right. Things, other things to tell. Uh, let's have a think. Um, <laughs> not lots happened, unfortunately. I did um, put all my tops away. I did that this evening. When I went up for a shower, I went and put all my tops away that were on that um, clothes rail. I took them all off the hangers, folded them up, I put them all in the drawers, and I put the, um, the rail back into the back room now, so it's all out of the way. Everything looks lovely and tidy up there again now. So we're back to normal. Uh, I have got two dresses off got coming, I believe they said the 11th or the 12th, which will be either tomorrow or Thursday. Uh, both are coming to drop-off points. One's going to a shop and the other one's going to a parcel box. Uh, both fairly close to me, so I can go and get those. So that's good, but that's gonna be Thursday. So I shall show you, uh, sorry, that's gonna be uh, tomorrow, Wednesday or Thursday, or Tuesday and Thursday. Um, so when they turn up, I'll either show you when they turn up or I might save them for the weekend. We'll see how it goes. Weather-wise, it's been, again, very similar to yesterday, quite cold. The rain held off. It didn't rain uh, while I was at work today, but it was very grey and very windy, not very warm. Um, but it did hold off, so that wasn't quite so bad. I, I think they forecast the weather's going to gradually improve as we go towards the weekend. And then next week looks like we're going to be back into the, the early 20s. Uh, this week we're down to about the 13s and 14s, so that's what feels so nippy. So fingers crossed they've got that right and we'll get a little bit more heat back. Maybe I might get one of my dresses on again, I don't know. Hold your breath. <laughs> um, I don't know whether it's going to be nice enough to be wearing a dress up to um, Norwich though. Uh, it doesn't sound very good for the weather for that particular day. I haven't looked for the actual weather in Norwich, but I'm looking at where I am at the moment in Cambridge. It doesn't look particularly good, so I might have a look later just to see what it's going to say, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. It might be jeans, or it might be a, a skirt, I'm not sure yet. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, what else has happened? One of my um, subscribers said that they're a chef and they make really good apple pies. <laughs> so I said, if you can make a crumble, I said you come down. <laughs> you can come and join me, I'll make you a cup of tea. <laughs> Um, yeah, I love my apple crumbles. I haven't had an apple crumble now for, oh, oh, my goodness me. It'd be the early part of this year, I should imagine, probably about February time, a long time ago. So yes, I, I love my apple crumbles, but I haven't had one for a long time. Apple pies I have all the time. <laughs> I've actually had my apple pies already tonight. I did have them early, because uh, I had my shower early, because I went upstairs to sort out all the clothes and I thought, well, while I'm up here, I might as well just have my shower as well. So I've got everything done early. And I've been in, in the front room uh, on my um, laptop trying to sort things out. 
uh, I've been trying to change account details because um, a lot of things you don't realise your name is hidden in there. My old name's still hidden in there. And I only find out when I get messages from these um, these sites in my old name and then I have to try and go in and find out how you change it. So that's what I've been doing tonight, trying to change my name on different sites I'm on. Uh, so I think I've done all right, I've done quite well. <laughs> but there's always something I've missed. Uh, but we'll we find out, we're gonna fine tune this as time goes on. Uh, that's the, the other thing about living in a rented property like I do. The number of letters I get for other people who were obviously previous tenants and some of them are private and confidential. <laughs> now, what do you do with those? Do you open them up to see what they are or do you throw them away? I've got no forwarding addresses. So what I've been doing is I've just been throwing them away. Um, I don't open them, I just throw them straight in the bin. They're not to me, got nothing to do with me. Um, so yeah, they go straight in the bin, unfortunately. Uh, if it says occupier, I will open them to see what it, it says. It might be something from the council or something like that. I have got one that was about uh, signing up to vote. I've got one of those. I've got to fill that one out yet. I haven't done it yet because I'm, I'd obviously want to do it under April's name and I was waiting for my documentation to come back so that I can do that as well. So I'm not sure what it has to do as opposed uh, with the council at the moment. I'm sure I've got to tell them. I'm not quite sure what I've got to do. We'll work that one out later. Um, yeah, it's one thing after another. You, you sort of sort one thing out and then that leads you to another and another and it just goes on and on. It's like never ending. It's like when I go to see this um, uh, surgeon in Norwich. Um, obviously I'm, I'm going there, I'm sporting the name of April, but if they want to look up my medical records, they're gonna to have to look up my medical records under my old name, which means I've then, I've got to go down to my doctors to change that as well. And whether that changes it on the national level or whether I have to inform the National Health Service or I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> These are things I'm going to find out. But there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. I'm doing the obvious ones first then I'm going to nip all the other ones in the bud one at a time. But yeah there's a lot of them. Lots of uh, sites you've got to go on to. Um, I think that's it guys. I honestly think that's it. Oh, I've got to get the auditions for the back room snoop. Uh, yeah, uh, I did when I brought uh, when I got home tonight. I went and let the boys out of their kennel at the top, and I left the door open to air it out like I always do. And the sky got blacker and blacker, <laughs> and I fed the dogs. And then I looked out of the window, and I could see streaks of rain on the window, in the kitchen window. So I shut up because I didn't want to leave the door open. I didn't want water going in there, so I had to run up the garden to. Um, to shut the shed door and I did it just in the nick of time uh, because as soon as I got back in the house I absolutely threw it down so that was really good <laughs> yeah well I got it aired anyway not for long but I did get it aired right I think that's that guys if I leave the bowl of water there for your dishes guys right there we go right time wise now it's half past nine I think I'm going to have another cup of tea because it's still quite early and I've only had one today. I had one as soon as I got home from work, which was about, uh, by the time I made the dog's dinner, it was probably about six o'clock by the time I had that. So yeah, it's been a little while since I had a cup of tea. So I will spoil myself tonight. Right, that goes there. I'll take that bowl out. Oh, here it comes. Mind your toes, please, Snoopy. Good boy. Right, put your feet, fill the kettle up again. Right, kettle's on again, guys. Cup of tea number two coming up. So, drink-wise at home, I've had, I've, I don't make my juice to take juice to work, but um, when I'm at home, first thing in the morning, I have a, uh, a cup of coffee, a milky coffee, and then when I get home from work, I have a cup of tea, and that's usually it. I don't have any more drinks, but I'm gonna have another cup of tea tonight, just for a change. Right, let's go and get the dog's dishes. I won't leave you here all on your own. Let's go and pick those up now. There it goes there. There we go. There's one light. And two lights. 
Oh, it's cold in here. It's because I've got the window open still. Oh, right, there we go. And I'd better bring the water dish out as well. Right, there we go. Sorted. Right, there you go, guys. I've got, I've got two water dishes. I've got a big one that I take up the shed in the morning. Um, that's an old Tupperware container. I fill it right up, it's brimmy. And I'll take it up to the shed with the boys in the morning. They go up there and I'll put the beds, put the beds down, uh, give them the biscuit, put the water dish in there. And then when I come home at night, they haven't touched it. They don't touch their water. But as soon as they come in the house, the first thing they do is they're running to the back where their beds are there's a water dish in there, there and they drink that. The water dish I bring out of the shed, the top of the Tupperware one, I tip that out as I walk down the garden and I put fresh in it as soon as I get back into the kitchen and I put it just outside the back door uh, so that it's there when they go outside and they'll empty that and it's a really big container and Snoop is the one who just drink and drink and drink, he drinks the lot. <laughs> He's got an unbelievable capacity for water but then he pees like a horse when he, when he wants to go to the toilet, he just stands there and he pees and he pees and he pees. <laughs> He's got a bladder the size of a bucket. <laughs> right, here we go. I'm going to put their water dish back in the back here. So that's all fresh. Right, that's there for tonight and tomorrow morning. Here we go. Right, that's down. Let's turn these lights out again, guys. That's one. That's two. Do my tuck box while I'm up this end. There we go. Right, that one goes in there. The cakes. Need a spoon. There we go. Right, that's the tuck box ready for tomorrow. I'll just leave it there. I'll put it in the fridge before we go up. And that can go back in the drawer. Right, here we go guys, back again. Right. And the dog's dishes can soak. And a cup of tea for me. When I went to my auntie's on Sunday, there was um, my auntie, my uncle, my auntie's daughter and the daughter's um, partner, my mum and my dad and myself. <laughs> and my auntie decided she was gonna use her teapot because <laughs> she'd never had so many people at her house at one time. <laughs> so she was, she was making the tea in the teapot. And I thought, I haven't drunk, had tea poured out of a teapot for years. I always do one cups because it's always just me or me and a friend, just one person, not, not a whole house full. But yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> yeah, she had to do the teapot. There we go. Right, that's done. Good boys. Right. Okay, we are done guys. Let's go there. we we'll pug a cup of tea, we can go and sit in the front room guys. <clears throat> oh. I think I've left the laptop on as well. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh, I don't think I turned it off. It doesn't matter, that will turn itself off anyway. I was curled up on the settee with the duvet cover. I've got a duvet on the back of the settee. That's something I've always done. I've always, if I've got a sofa, 
I've always got a duvet cover thrown over the back of the sofa. Then in the evening, when you're sat there, I pull a duvet cover down over my legs and then the dogs jump up on top of me as well. So we're all sat there, all, co all toasty, with a duvet cover over me and the dog's laying on my feet. It's really nice. That is until you, your feet go to sleep or you get cramp. <laughs> right, mind yourself, please. Right, okay, I think we're done. Let's go, guys. Let's go in the front room. I've got my tea. Right, guys, what are you going to do, in or out? Go on in, off you go. Just turn the light out, guys, on the way. There you go. Right, you can stay here or you come in the front room with me. It's up to you. Here we go. Yes, I have got the laptop out. I wasn't sure. Oh. Oh, let me have a pew. <laughs> right. Right, the selfie stick's down. I'm sat on my laptop. Hang on. <laughs> if I just um, shut that down. Uh, hang on. <laughs> got to log out of it first. Um. Uh, <laughs> Try that again. Did you see what I did there? <laughs> no, still got it wrong. Let's try it this way. You're watching, that's what it is. Don't watch, you're putting me off. <laughs> right, here we go, try it again. Yes, it worked. <laughs> right, now we come out of this. Let me close this down and shut that. I don't want that on there. And then down there and shut it down. There you go. Right, it's shutting down, guys. Oh, what a palaver. <laughs> I've been putting dates in my diary as well. I've got a little diary here, it's an old file of facts. Now when my children were really young, we took them to Euro Disney in uh, Paris. And uh, the children bought me an Indiana Jones file of facts. And I've had it all these years. I'll get new pages for it every year. Every Christmas I'll treat myself to some new pages. And yeah, I keep a little file of facts. And I put things in there like um, dentist appointments or birthdays and things like that, where I'm working, holidays. Um, and it's really handy. There you go, I'll put that over there, out of the way. Right, that can go away now. And then I can get the, um, my legs covered again. Oh, that's something else I was talking about. Um, oh, I nearly spilt my tea. I'm just moving the uh, table back a bit so I can get the duvet covered down. Here we go. Um, stretching, I don't know if you guys suffer the same as I do when you stretch. When I wake up in the morning, I used to do this thing where I used to just stretch. Stretch all your legs and your arms out. I don't do that now. <laughs> I don't know if you're the same as me, but it's where you, you stretch and you get cramp. <laughs> and you can feel these, this, the cramp, the um, muscles start to tense up in your calves. <laughs> and it's like, oh, and I have to jump out of bed <laughs> really quick and, and stand on them. Just stand up to stop the cramp coming up my leg. Oh my God, that's a killer. And it gets to the point now, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I don't stretch, I just creep out of bed. Because <laughs> I don't want to get cramped. Right, let's cover my legs. Are you coming up, guys? Are you coming up? No, Sooty's going away. He's, he's going back in the kitchen. So, yeah. So, I've had a cracking day. Let me just mute the telly, guys. That was on in the background while I was on my computer. So, yeah. So, I've got... Nothing really much more to tell you. Um, I've done, uh, I've done, made my sandwiches. Uh, like I said, tomorrow's when cheese day, so that's the last day before I go to Norwich on the Thursday. And it's gonna be an all day affair. I'm going to take my dogs out nice and early. Fairly normal day for me then. So I'm gonna take the boys out nice and early, get myself all toggled up when I get home and then I'm going to go off to Norwich. So I want to have a full day at Norwich. So I'll get to Norwich fairly early in the morning. And then I can have the morning sh in shopping around. My appointment is two o'clock. Well, they said quarter past two, but I'll get there for two o'clock. I'll get there a little bit early. And then once I've had that appointment, I'll then get in the car and come back. 
So that shouldn't be so bad for the boys because I probably won't leave till about eight, maybe nine o'clock to go to Norwich and Norwich is an hour away. So I'll be there early part of the morning. I'll be there till two o'clock, then go to the, see the surgeon. And then after I've seen the surgeon, if I allow an hour for that, that'll get me to three, drive home to f gets me back about four. So it be, should be a good day. Weather-wise, I don't know what the weather's gonna do. I haven't looked, I will have a look before I go because then I can decide what I'm gonna wear. Um, but yes, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I haven't got anything else. I've got um, another laser appointment on the 21st, I think it is. I'll have to have a look. On the 21st of this month. Uh, so that's not this coming weekend. It'll be the following weekend, I believe. So, yeah. <laughs> um, that'll be number three. And that's that should be, that's usually a three month cycle. They, they said to me that the hair grows on a three month cycle. So that, um, after they've done about three treatments, you should start noticing the difference. And I think I've already started noticing the difference because I always shave first thing in the morning and when I come home in the evening and I have my shower, I have a shave in the shower. So I do it twice a day. And I must admit, I've noticed I'm not as stubbly as I usually am. Before that, I'd, I'd be really coarse and raspy. And it's definitely not that. And I've only had two treatments so far. So I've got the third one to come um, a couple of weeks away. And uh, then that will have done the three month cycle. They did say to me then, once once they've done what they are doing, obviously the, um, the laser hair removal, they said what it doesn't remove, they'll, will have to be done via electrolysis where they do each single hair with like tweezers. Um, so that will be the next one after they've done, I'm up to about three months, but I'm not there yet. So early days still, long way to go. We're, we're going to be at, 12 months or more doing this, so it's gonna be a long, long stint, but I, I was ready for that. I knew it was gonna take that sort of period of time. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying all the pampering I'm getting. Um, when I went to see uh, Megan, and she sorted my um, my topper out for me, that was so nice, that was really nice. And I had a very similar situation when I went to see Ches up in Birmingham, and she put my um, extensions in, that, that kind of one-to-one, -one. that was so nice. Yeah, being pampered, I love it, it's really nice. Anyway guys, I think I've gone on long enough. This is 32 minutes worth, I've been babbling now. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys get on because it's coming up towards 10 o'clock. I hope to be finished on my tea, do the dog dishes, put the boys to bed, hoover up downstairs, and then I'm going to bed. So I should be upstairs probably about quarter past 10 tonight. So I'm gonna have an early night and I'll let you guys have an early night as well. I'm gonna put this video on straight away now and the time now is quarter to 10. So just see how long it takes to load this because it's a half hour on it. The longer they are, the longer it takes to, to load. Sometimes they can take 15, 20 minutes to load. So we'll see how long this one takes. So I'm signing out now at quarter to 10 and I'm gonna hit that load button now. Okay, and I shall speak to you guys uh, be tomorrow, okay? I won't do another one tonight. That's it. That's your lot. So I shall speak to you guys tomorrow. Okay, going to love you to bits and I shall speak to you later. Bye-bye.